Pelleggi Technical Services, your computers and electronics concierge service. Welcome back. Today on the bench here we have this Toshiba laptop that was brought in by a long-standing client. It's unfortunately the second time I fixed this already. The charging jack on the side over here, um, well basically his, his son's a little rough on it. He leaves it plugged in when he's using it, stays coiled up on its lap and uh, tugs on it a lot and sits in awkward positions and kind of just jostles all around there. And, well, you can see what happened to it. I don't know why the case popped out. I don't know if he dropped it or whatnot, but this thing was uh, fun to take apart last time. It was quite a mess inside with all little broken pieces of plastic from the case, but I managed to fix it for to an extent, I guess you could say. Um, I might have a different solution this time. I see what's going on with it and why the problem's happening, so maybe I can come up with a better way to, you know, get some kind of a strain relief on that to keep that from happening. If you um, look at the end over here, maybe hard to see in camera, but it's a little chopped off there. It's like a little chowdered up and messy. You could see where it's it's kind of yeah. You can't even get that in. So I'm gonna have to take this whole thing apart here and uh, figure out if we can fix it. I'll save you the fun task of taking all the screws out and don't really want to watch me do that so I'll cut the video here and we'll come back when this case is open. Alright here we have the damage. You can see this is where the jack was in this little hole right here and it's just kind of flopping in the wind. I put a big old glob of uh, hot melt glue on it a while back and it held very well for a while but just the abuse that this thing's gone through is just yeah. So the other problem is is the post inside here broke off and the screw isn't holding in. So I gotta find a way to get that screw to hold in and not come out again because that's what's causing the case to slightly open and this thing to wiggle. So I'm gonna clean this glue up and find a better way to put it in. All right, here we are. Got the jack in the hole. The original problem was that this piece over here is wobbly. It's actually distorted a little bit from it pushing sideways in here, and that's why this keeps popping out. So I'm going to try the same trick, or I might even go for epoxy in this. I don't have any right now, so I'll have to pick up some, but you can see over here, one of the inserts, um, these little brass inserts that they stamp into the plastic here, popped out, and I glued it in, but there's the other one over here, and it's, it's long gone. So I looked around my parts bin and I found this little tiny screw and um, brass nut. So I'm going to take that brass nut and I'm going to glue it back in here again. And hopefully that will work. We'll give that a shot and see how it works. I'm just waiting for the glue gun to heat up. I have it over here to the side plugged in waiting. And have the helping hands holding the little bolt and the little nut kind of hard to see in there so I can hit the two of them with glue should be another few minutes this thing kind of slow all right hot glue guns all heated up see if we can go in here and knock some glue in here put it on the edge see if I can get the hold and just dab it in there also, see if I can get some under here. Just to kind of hold this in place. And we'll fill it in. Fill it in as best as I can. The reason why I use hot glue is because it has got a little bit of flexibility to it. It's still pretty strong. 
I mean, this is a pretty high temp melt, so it hardens pretty good. We'll let that sit for a few minutes, come back to it, see how it looks. The glue is hardened up, and I'm going to remove the helping hands now to see how this looks. And this screw is pretty good. I um, chose to use this screw in this location because this bracket's going to cover over these, and these posts are going to help hold that in, in spot better. So once this is in that hole, it should hold it in place. Also, you'll see that this jack, that's that's not going anywhere. I'm also going to take the knife and just trim the top of this up just a little bit, just to try to make the case fit a little bit better. Fortunately, there's nothing else here. All the electronics are on the other end of the board, so I don't have to worry about anything here. Um, but it should button up pretty nicely. Here's the final result. The glue cleaned up, everything put into place. Looks good to me. Just gonna put the brackets back in and button it up and should be good. One of the things I did with this computer in the past was replace this fan and the battery. And when I uh, get these in my hand, I like to take this fan and switch, uh, flip it back out for a second here. And you can see this blanket of dust. This is uh, inevitable. This happens in all these things. Uh, come take this outside in the daytime and hit this with the air compressor, blow the rest of this out before I give it back to them. Uh, I like doing that. I blow out all desktops. Um, pretty much every piece of equipment I work on, I like to clean the dust out of it before I give it back to the, the customer. I think that's a great idea. Uh, if you're in here, you might as well do it anyway. It's, uh, it makes my job easier because it's clean. It makes your, your computer run better because it's clean. It's a win-win for both people. The case is all buttoned up. Just one thing I want to fix. I have some sugru or sugru or however you want to say this stuff. I'm going to put a bead of it right across the top over here and cover this cracked case. And it should fill out nicely. I right, just put a bunch of this stuff on. This is the self-setting rubber. I put it around the jack. You can barely see it there. And I also put it on, oops, put it on the end of the wire, which I dropped off camera here, just to fill in the little cracked area there so it's not chunked out. And this will take 24 hours to dry, but once it does, it turns into a nice um, pliable silicone, which should stick to that very well and make this nice and nice and solid. I'll come back to this once it's dry. And while I got this stuff out, since I have so much of it and I only need such a little bit, I decided to use the rest of it to soften up the end of my um, solder sucker. So I put some on the little button there, I put some on the end, and I also put it on the end over here to make this easier to unscrew. And to give you a little bit of a rest, I guess, when you're holding it. And I have both guns set like that. Since, like I said, it was extra. I didn't want to waste it, I had nothing else to put it on. And I'll let this dry for the same 24 hours and see how that is when I come back to it. Well, tomorrow is today. We're back here with the repair job from yesterday. You can see that the Sugru is all nice and rubberized over here, which is exactly what I wanted it to do. This is just going to neaten this hole up a little bit and take off those rough edges that were all chowdered up from the previous uh, damage. And then I also did the end. You can see it's nice and rounded out. It's not missing that little piece anymore. And of course, the final test is to plug it in, make sure it works. Bada bing. It looks good to me. I'm going to uh, give the client a call, let him know his machine's ready, and he should come pick it up. The screw that I put in there is uh, holding the case together nicely. That should keep the case from opening up and hopefully the charger won't fall out again on the guy. It's, um, it's pretty strong. I mean, this had some wobble in it. That's just the nature of the jack, but I, I'm pretty confident with the job I did here. This is going to hold up pretty nicely. And again, the last time it was because this case was kind of sloppy, but it's not going anywhere now. This is nice and tight. I also managed to um, repair a couple other little pieces in here that were a little loose. 
like I said, I did I did repair this machine once before, but I know it's been through through hell since then. And the owner admits that he knows his son's, you know, beating this up. He told him this is the last time he's gonna fix it. I don't know. We'll see. Hopefully, it won't come back again. But it's a shame because it's a nice laptop. That she even makes good stuff. Then, thank you for watching. If you like what you saw then click the like button. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave those down below. And uh, please subscribe if you want to see more. Until next time.